back to my channel. Today I'm so excited about this video. I just thought it'd be so fun. Recently I saw Kristen Johns do it and she's one of my favorite YouTubers and I was like, you know, I should do that too. So today we are doing Instagram controls my makeup for the day. So therefore that is why I did not have any makeup on. I have my basket full of picks that you guys on Instagram picked for me and we are going to dive right into it. So if you guys are interested in watching what you guys picked for my makeup then go ahead and keep on watching. So I will include screenshots of all the stuff that you guys picked and how it ended up. It was very close on almost all of the products which was really surprising. <laughs> um, so the foundation that you guys chose was the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is a newer product at the drugstore. I was wearing it for a few weeks and then I took a few weeks off of it. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to be using a sponge. I always use a sponge for my foundation. This one is from e.l.f. and it's only $4. It's so big, so squishy. I'm obsessed. You guys should go test it out because it's only four bucks. So I'm gonna do a few squirts on the back of my hand. The thing that I really like about this foundation is that it gives pretty good coverage, if you can tell. Um, but it's so lightweight, it's a very like runny consistency on your hand, so it feels like there's nothing on your face. So if you feel like you need to build it up even more, you can without it feeling like there's 10 pounds of foundation on your face. So we've got our base. That is what the foundation looks like. It covered everything really well and it feels like I have nothing on my skin. So that's always really nice. The concealer that you guys picked is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm sure that almost all of you have heard of this concealer. It is a very famous concealer. It is very thick and full coverage. Oh, sorry, I kicked the camera. I'm gonna put some right here. Again, I'm going to blend it out with my uh, e.l.f. sponge. Alrighty, so that is with the concealer and the foundation. I think everything's looking super good, super... Um, it actually does look really natural, even though I did cover everything. It still looks just like my skin. So the next thing that you guys chose was a powder. You guys chose the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So with this foundation, it actually sets pretty dry. So I don't think I'm gonna set my whole face or else I will start to look super dry. So I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes, um, my chin and a little bit of my forehead where I start to crease a lot. Take some powder. And on my eyelid. I'm really gonna press this in. I feel like putting powder on with a sponge really helps it to sit to sink into your skin rather than um, sitting on your skin and looking super powdery. So this is my favorite way of doing it. And then I have super defined wrinkles on my forehead. So I try to set them a little bit just so I can reduce the creasing just a little bit. So I try not to put too much on there because that's also my driest spot on my face is of course where my wrinkles are. So gotta love that, huh? And then I just put, I always put a little bit of powder on my chin because for some reason that is the number one spot that all foundation no matter how great of a foundation is comes off always on my chin 
do not know why. So let's move on to bronzer. Bronzer was super close for a long while. I'm sure it's changed by now. And the other one might be winning. But you guys chose the Hoola by Benefit bronzer. This is a very famous bronzer. I have not used it in quite some I've not used this in quite some time because like I said, I'm more into a glowy look, which is some people's nightmare. So I've been using a glowy bronzer, but you guys chose the matte. So I'm gonna go in with this little brush. We are going to bronze my ghostly face up. Why does it look like I put a ton on in the camera, but it looks like I put nothing on in person? This is my daily dilemma. <gasps> okay, maybe I did put too much on. I'm gonna take some up here along the hairline just to make it look a little more natural or seamless, if you will. This bronzer is very pigmented, I forgot. Well, effortlessly it goes on. I do like to bring it really close up to my cheeks just because I love the look of a bronzed face. Maybe it's because I'm so pale that I just like to look a little bit more bronzed. So since you guys gave me a matte bronzer, it was only fair that you guys gave me a luminous blush. <laughs> you guys chose the Milani uh, Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. After trying their baked bronzer. I had to try out their baked blushes and I love them. So this is such a pretty color and it gives you such like a sheer glow. I look like a doll. It's super blush. I feel like everything on the camera is like 10 times more intense than it looks in person. Or maybe I really look like that, I don't. Okay, so for highlight, I literally only use this Makeup Revolution X, um, with Sofex highlighter. So I had you guys choose between this purpley one and the golden one. You guys chose the champagne one. So I'm gonna take this on a little highlighting brush. Face is done. Now for the exciting part. You guys chose this right here. I figured, I figured most people love these kind of colors, so I would do it. I'm not sure what kind of look I wanna do. Do I wanna go crazy and like try shades like this? We're gonna take Rush, which is this orange, and we are going to put it into the crease. Oh, and by the way, this is her Ring the Alarm palette. I'm gonna take Mud Shot, which is like a deeper version of the color we just put, and I'm gonna put that right under, oh, right under that shade that we just did. This is looking really bad. Let's hope that we can get it together, okay? Sorry, I forgot to zoom you guys in. I'm not sorry because it's going terribly and everything looks bad. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't know what to do. Okay, I think we can do this. And I'm gonna take Secret, which is this dark brown, and I'm gonna put that on the outer V and pray. Just all you can do is pray, right? Thank God I did not try to make this like a makeup YouTube channel because my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna try the same thing over here. Don't judge me, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this color, Boom, which is like a coppery orange shade. We're gonna put this all over the lid. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna take that deeper orange on a little smudge brush, and I'm gonna do that right under on the lash line, the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna take that deep brown and I'm gonna keep this closer to the lash line and kind of stamp it on. 
my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo and the Tarte Busy Gal Brow One. So I'm going to take a spoolie and brush out the brow. And I'm going to take my angled eyebrow brush. I'm going to take the dark brow product. I use the dark for the outer parts of my eyebrow. Okay, so I have my eyebrows filled in and I'm just gonna take the Tarte Busy Gal Brow um, and I'm gonna run this through them. This does add a little bit more color, which is nice for the areas that I don't feel like I can get. Okay, so now is for mascara. You guys picked the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, I feel like everything always looks so much better once you have um, your lashes done. So I'm feeling much better. I'm just gonna wipe the foundation off with my sweatshirt because that's just who I am as a person. So I asked you guys if you wanted nude or red lips. You guys said nude. Um, I'm doing this Zoella X ColourPop um, lipstick in the color Little One. This is my favorite, and I mean favorite liquid lipstick. Alrighty, I think that goes really well with this look actually, that lip color. Okay, so that is the look that you guys created. Um, so I think it looks really good. I actually love how my face looks. The complexion is actually amazing. I forgot how good that foundation looked and it literally like nothing's on my fingers it is like transfer proof it feels like nothing is there and I didn't even set like these parts of my face so I really do like this look that you guys yourself created if you guys want to be a part of videos like this then make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where I do polls and stuff and that's where I interact with you guys so thank you so much for participating this was so much fun i just had so much fun doing it i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye you can do anything if you put your mom to it the the the